Okay guys, this is my high voltage output for my rodent coil. I have a rodent coil wrapped on another copper wire form here. My output wires are right there. You can see as I was winding this coil, I had uh, the coil bent. And it's probably affecting some stuff, but it's working. So, here's what my meters are. This is uh, set on 200 milliamp. So, that's right under one milliamp. Um, I just posted a video about how I cannot figure out why I can't read across my rodent coil. Uh, basically just reading across my pulse width modulator. Um, so watch that video, help me figure that out. So I don't know why I'm putting into it, but I got a 24 volt power supply, so I know it's less than that. Um, the frequency I'm running at is uh, 40 kilohertz, 40.7 kilohertz. Um, I just have this on the frequency um, setting and hooked up to my 555 timer and the ground so I guess that's accurate uh, don't take my word for it but that's what I got okay now on my DC side okay I've got a coil here wrapped around and I've got that hooked up to a rectifier which is right here now my output on the DC side of my rectifier is uh, 1101 volts DC Okay, that's a lot, and I only have a 24 volt power supply, um, so that's that's quite a bit. Okay, I wanted to show you the AC side of this that I can arc uh, between the AC side, so I'll just short out the terminals right here. So I can prove to you that I am putting out a high voltage on the AC side and you can arc the DC side as well I'm not going to do it um, I can also I've had the DC side hooked up to this speaker and basically it amplifies it when it squelches here I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, lights off here so you can see that a little better. Man, that might be too dark. Okay, I turned some background lights on because it was a little dark. Okay, here's the DC side um, through my speaker. You can hear it squeaking. Squelching. Okay, and here's my AC side. You see, I am getting out high voltage there. So that's a pretty cool deal. Now, uh, I need to calculate, I need to figure out what's going on with my input voltage before I can um, go on with calculating wattage. But what I'll do real quick is I will uh, charge up a capacitor for you so you can see that.